pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, Mr. Lego. Yes, sir, Mr. President. Mrs. Issing. Here. Mr. Kachasik. Here. Dr. Koshko. Here. Mr. Leonard. Mr. Matarazzo. Here. Mr. Nemec. Here. Mr. Petrucci. Here. Mr. Stovar. Here. Dr. Trey. Here. You have a quorum, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. You're welcome. Thank you. Now I entertain a motion to approve the minutes of regular meeting Monday, June 13th. Motion. Motion to accept and second by Mr. Leonard. Any question or motion? Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. Information, Dr. Harris. Sure, I don't have any information tonight. We had a lot of discussions last week. However, I want to remind everyone that we were now, um, well, I was going to say we would not be re um, recorded remotely, but are we having a backup camera here too, or just in case? All right, I just wanted to double check. And these mics are new, and I knew last week it threw me off, so I said I'm going to give it a couple more weeks to practice because I'm not used to speaking into the mic, so I hope I sound okay. So thank you. <laughs> must state your name, address, group affiliation, if any. Your statement will be limited to five minutes in duration. All statements shall be directed to the president. No participant may address or question a board member individually. I may interrupt your statement if your statement is too lengthy, personally direct, abusive, obscene, irrelevant. Now we have one sign, Christine Snyder. Over to the podium. Thank you. My name is Christine Snyder. Um, I live at 30 Concord Drive, Irwin. I'm a um, Penn Trafford um, parent and I'm a Tech PT board member. Um, I'm asking the school district to become educated on current and proposed unconventional gas development, including fracking, pipelines, and other dangerous and nuisance infrastructure like compressor stations and storage facilities. I encourage you to go to protectpt.org to learn more about the proposed activity in our community, um, the fracking process and its risks, current peer-reviewed studies and local and national news regarding unconventional gas-related disasters. Our group is not asking for a ban on fracking. We are asking to limit this industrial activity to industrial zones and keep it away from our homes and schools. There is a public hearing at this building on August 17th to finalize an ordinance that would use a mineral extraction overlay or MEO to allow fracking, which is an industrial activity, to occur in over 60% of our township in our agriculturally zoned areas. There are currently four proposed well pads within one mile of Level Green Elementary. Each well pad can have up to five wells per pad. Um, whenever the current active well pad in Penn Township was in the drilling phase, residents were kept awake in the middle of the night by drilling noise and light for four months. Since two wells can be drilled and fracked at a time, families living near Level Green Elementary could be kept awake at night for years at this rate. There have also been multiple studies released this summer regarding the correlation between increased asthma rates and proximity to fracking wells. Parents, especially those with children who have asthma, have a right to know if the air in and around their school is being monitored and if it's safe. Another concern for parents is heavy truck traffic. I was shocked to learn the amount of water, cement, and waste carrying industrial trucks that could be traveling on our bus routes if proposed activity goes into place. And as a parent, I'm extremely concerned about my children riding school buses alongside these trucks. The first hearing for one of these proposed wells is on September 8th at the municipal building. The Zoning Hearing Board will hear from the gas industry and local residents, and I encourage you to attend that meeting also. I'm also asking the school district to please allow informational flyers to be post, um, posted on Take Home Tuesday. Um, one of the flyers that was rejected last year for Take Home Tuesday was simply an invitation for parents to attend an informational meeting to explain the drilling process to parents and how to protect their children. The role of the school district is to educate the children of the community, and I'm just asking the school district to become educated and provide families with resources to educate and protect themselves. Um, I was here in the spring, and I had some questions about emergency preparedness plans, um, but I haven't received answers. Um, 
as a parent and a homeowner, I personally will be taking precautions in my home um, if this proposed activity be, um, goes into effect, um, such as full home um, water filtration systems and changing our air filters on our furnace more frequently, but I don't have as much control over my children's safety when they're at school, unfortunately. Um, I'm especially concerned about um, pipeline explosions similar to the one that occurred in Salem Township a few months ago. Um, I called the township a few months ago just to ask them about pipelines in our township. Um, and first they referred me to Protect PP, um, the person I spoke to, and then um, I was also told about um, a huge pipeline that runs under Route 130 um, and out towards Jeanette. So um, if there's an explosion in Penn Township, what is the emergency preparedness plan to keep students safe if they're at school? Um, I'm also concerned about the heavy truck traffic during student bus transport, air contamination, and mine subsidence. Um, so for the reasons I stated tonight, um, I'm just asking that we minimize our risk by educating ourselves and having plans and systems in place. Thank you. Dr. Harris will be with you guys in a meeting okay. And Actually, I am going to be at the meeting that night because we have a foundation meeting going on at 6, so I can come, I'm coming right after to the, on the 17th. You can get back to the board real soon. School district not, so this is clear, not going to get involved in any kind of situation or litigation you come against them. Uh, chief of police, if there's a safety factor, we'll get with Dr. Harris, go through the solicitor, and then get to us, then we'll decide. Now, I respect what you're saying. But we are not, we cannot have no jury, and, and, and you call these kids, you call this well, it's right on top of my hill. Spring runs right down. I think I said this last time to you guys also. And all the water's been tested, the air's been tested, and the soil's been tested, and there's no contaminants. So, I mean, you can keep on coming if you want to, but this school board is not going to get involved in any possibility that we can be in a litigation situation. And we, we're scrapping for every penny as it is, and we're just not going to do it. I respect your efforts. And I have no problem with Protect PT. Jill is right down the bottom hill from me. And she knows where I live, and, there's, and I've told her this before. I'm all for supporting kids, and you can see my <laughs> reputation and everything I've done to help out the young kids, and I continue to do that. But we cannot put this school district, the school board, involved in any possible litigation situation. We're not going to do it. And what I, about the 90% that said we had to go ahead? Well, that's right here. We discussed that last week about our emergency plans, and we've been working with... Um, West one Department of Public Safety. And we actually had plans for um, emergency situation involving, like we, did, we did a whole study before when we did a, a case scenario involving a train derailment and having an explosion of chemicals and what would we do. So we have like processes in place and we just have to apply it to the correct concerns. The same thing again when we have a threat to the high school evacuation procedure, it'd be the same thing no matter what the situation be. We have to treat them all the same. But I appreciate you coming, and I greatly respect your concern. But I've emphasized this before, and I'm emphasizing again, we're not going to do anything unless the solicitor recommends it, or superintendent recommends it, and they come to the board and they present it to us. Because right now, I understand that locally there's a lawsuit started, and I feel bad. It's supposed to be in federal court, and it's, uh, okay, we got to be careful. Because if we get a used lawsuit, we'll have to have our meetings in the auditorium, and believe me, we will get beat up drastically. We have to be careful. And you want to respond to what I'm saying? You please can respond to it. Oh, yeah. Um, I guess the point of why I came tonight is just I'm, I'm asking to know what the emergency preparedness plan is um, because of the increased threat or potential for threat. Um, and I just want to know what can be done to keep my kids safe. That's no. all. I'm, that's why I'm here. That's up to Dr. Harris. She does that and gets back to us. Everything goes through Dr. Harris. And also our solicitor. That's what they're paid for. Okay, but we are con we have a huge concern for safety of the students. Um, and also um, student bus transport. Um, I don't know. Busing's me too. <laughs> um, avoid certain routes or certain intersections that will be heavily traveled, especially <coughs> the access roads. But I'm really concerned about the bus transport too. Well, Penn Township Police Force and the Trapper Police Force have been very cooperative when we've had any kind of situations. They, 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 they're, they're well trained. I feel very comfortable with that. I don't 
Well, being a young parent, I can respect that viewpoint also. And if board members wish to express themselves, please do so. You know, you're welcome to do it. I'm only speaking mostly for myself, but if anybody else wants to say anything, it's uh, the floor is yours. I, I would just like to ask one question, and, and it, 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 don't take this the wrong way, but how do you feel about when there's a 10,000 gallon tank truck of gasoline going down 130 to fill the gas station up? Oh, I feel horrible about it, and that's why this heavy volume concerns me even more because of the volume of it. Um, it's one thing to have a tanker truck going through occasionally, but it's the high volume that I'm expecting to have. It's not going to be occasional. Um, my fear is that it's going to be constant I, I, all day, every day. It's I believe if you, would, if you would sit and watch Route 130, that there is currently high volumes of heavy truck um, flammable liquids, and, I, and I'm I'm not again I'm not I'm just saying it's it's there already. I mean it's I agree. it's there already. Try to minimize our risk. And and we haven't had any complaints about that up until you know the the current situation. That's that's the only thing I, I gotta say. Right, and I feel that if they would limit it to industrial zones, then we could reduce our risk because it would only be in certain areas, and that would reduce the volume. So if we could limit it to industrial zones, obviously there's still a risk, just like there's already a risk, but um, the volume is... But the, but the, high, the highways are, are, are free, free highways. They can't restrict what traffic goes on it. If, even if it is to an industrial zone, they still got to go through, use the highways to get there, and Route 130 is a major corridor. And, and then if you go to an industrial zone, out past Rams Farm or something, they're coming down 130 and going out a country road to get to the industrial zones. I'm, I'm, or between Route 22 and Route 130. So I'm just it, asking if there's a way to possibly reroute the buses, especially during certain times. I'm just saying, what can we do to help keep our kids safe as opposed to doing nothing? Because I could, I could move, and I'm choosing not to. So I'm just asking if everybody could work together as a community to try to minimize our risk and keep the kids safe. Because we should just try to do what we can instead of just saying, well, there's nothing we can do, let's do nothing. That's never been the attitude. No. Right. That's never been the attitude. Anyone else? As far as the bus routes are concerned, as Rich said, 130 is a major corridor in this township. And as a school district, we're pretty strapped because, one for one, we have one school right on Route 130, and other schools within a mile. Sunrise, what is Sunrise from Route 130? A mile, Level Green can't be much. Most of our buses have to go down 130 at one point. I mean, it's very hard. I understand your concern, believe me, because I, when I see trucks on the road, I always get a little leery myself as a driver, let alone a kid's waiting for a uh, school bus. But I, when you look at it from a logistics point of view, where do we, how do we route the buses to get them to, to these schools? where Route 130, when Route 130 is our only major corridor in this township. It's a tough situation. Right, I understand we can't avoid it, but I'm just asking if we can look at it and try. Are there certain intersections that are um, especially a threat because of visibility or something? Just Yeah, and I worry about try. the kids who actually live on Route 130. If we start moving bus stops off, then they're actually forced to walk further with the, with the, with <coughs> the, um, the heavier traffic. So. But there's a lot of logistics to be considered. Right now, as we speak, there's a gas well being drilled and fracked 10 feet out of front of the house. I saw a picture of it. It's in my backyard. There was one last year drilled and fracked in my front yard. I didn't notice any increased traffic that bothered me as a resident, and it was 1,500 feet from my front door. Now, right now, I don't notice any additional traffic out of ordinary for anything, if you had that being a grocery store, the nursing home across the street from my house. I'm not seeing that. I don't know if our police are seeing any incidents of further hazards and problems, but I personally live in the middle of two, one done, one being done currently, another one being set up to be done. I'm not seeing any change in anything in my life whatsoever. That's, that's really the key distinction. And that's, I would encourage you to take a look at it because it, the reality is it's going on right now. It's 24-7, drilling and fracking right now. I've heard um, a lot of other <coughs> things from people who live um, near sites, um, but it does make me feel better to hear that. Thank you. And he's a man with no. I bet. You know, he was VIP, and 
and they carried it up. Just, just one of those lifetime residents, been here since the 50s, grew up here, was a kid here, and watched everything grow and change, and this is another one of those growing, changing things. And I, believe me, I'm a facts guy. I'm looking, I'm, I'm hoping for all the best things, and so far, it's been pretty peaceful. Any other board members to speak? Thank you. I'm sorry, thank you. Okay, we're done. Entertain a motion for treasury report of June and July 2016 and the high school extracurricular report for the months of May and June 2016 to be approved and presented and made part of official minutes. Motion. Motion by Mr. Nemi. Second by Mr. Leonard. Any question on motion? Question. motion. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. Payment of bills. Mo entertain a motion to approve the payment of bills for August 2016. Motion. Motion by Mr. Naming. A second on the motion? Second. Second by Mr. Manorez. Any question on motion? Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. Hold business. Uh, we have none to see you, Mr. President. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Lego. You're welcome. Okay. Executive session. Executive session was conducted prior to this meeting for the following matters. Personnel, including hiring professional and non-professional staff, received legal advice on pending litigation. The board also met to receive information on various matters, including student handbook, state funding increases, workforce development, and district enrollment figures, and policy revisions. New business. Athletics is Richard, Dr. Crosscho. Thank you, Mr. President. I do have a few items. Move to accept the following resignations. Marty Casper, head lead teacher at Harrison Park. Doug Kelly, seventh grade boys basketball coach at Penn Middle. Sean Cartney, ninth grade assistant boys basketball coach and varsity boys assistant volleyball coach. Sabrina Ober Oberkoff, sophomore, is that right? Yeah. Uh, yearbook sponsor, Penn Middle, school effective July 21st. Erica Smith, junior high girls assistant volleyball coach effective August 1st. I must, Dr. Cross, is second on motion? Second. Second, Mr. Lennon. Any question on motion? Question. Questions. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. Move to approve the opening of two assistant varsity baseball coaching positions effective immediately. I motion to Dr. Kosh. Any second on motion? Second. Second, Mr. Neem. Any question on motion? Questions. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. <coughs> Move to employ the athletic and extracurricular personnel for the 2016-17 school year as presented to the board. Salaries will be determined in accordance with the negotiated agreement. New employment is contingent upon receipt all necessary documentation and acceptance of the Act 34, 151, and 114 waivers from the Commonwealth, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania within 30 days. A motion by Dr. Kosh, a second on the motion? Second. Second, Mr. Kuchaski, any question on the motion? Question, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. Move to approve the list of volunteer coaches as presented to the board. All coaching volunteers must have Act 34, 151, and 114 waivers on file with the athletic director. Motion by Dr. Kosh, a second on the motion? Second. Second, Mr. Kuchaski. Any question or motion? Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion passed. That'll be all, Mr. President. Thank, Thank you, Dr. Kosciuk. Budget and finance, Mr. Kuchaski. Thank you, Mr. President. Move to approve the expenditures for the high school renovation project for the month of August 2016 according to the schedule as listed. Second. Motion by Dr. Um, Mr. Kuchaski. Second. Try again. Maybe. Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. Move to approve the res uh, school resource officer program agreement for 2016, 2016, 17. Second. Motion by Mr. Chan, second by Dr. Kosh. Any question on motion? Question. Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passed. And it was nice to see our school resource officer here tonight, Officer Myers. <laughs> Thank you for all that you do for the school and keeping us safe. Thank you. Move to approve the Penn Trafford School District's contribution to the area libraries for the 2016 uh, 17 as follows, as listed. I have a motion by Mr. Kuchaski. A second on motion? Second. Second by Mr. Manorosa. Any question on motion? Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. Move to approve the following change order request. Uh, this was a review of the board last week, uh, the last meeting. Thank you, Mr. Kuchaski. Uh, motion, Mr. Kuchaski. A second on motion? Second. Second, Mr. Neem. Again, question on motion? Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passed. Move to approve the purchase of a Weatherbug outdoor alerting system with an installation at a cost of $8,940. I 
A motion to approve Mr. Kachansky. A second on motion? Second. second. Dr. Kosh, any question on motion? Question. Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. Now go ahead, Ms. Eagle, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Kachansky. Building Welcome. grounds and safety, Mr. Leonard. Thank you, Mr. President. After having reviewed the list of uh, substitutes, uh, I'd like to make a, a move to uh, approve that list of substitute custodians for 2016-17 school year, and that copy of that list will be on file with the official minutes of this meeting. A uh, motion, Mr. Leonard. A second on motion? Second. Second, Mr. Kuchaski. Any question on motion? Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Leonard. <laughs> Employee Relations, Negotiations, Transportation, and Ms. Issing. Thank you, Mr. Hunt, Mr. Kuchaski. Move to approve the list of bus drivers and substitutes as presented by first students for the 2016-17 school year. A copy will be filed with the official uh, minutes of this meeting. The motion, Mr. Nissing, any question? Second on motion? Second. Second, Mr. Leonard, any question on motion? Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. <coughs> Move to approve the SEIU contract effective July 1st, 2016 through June 30th, um, 2020, as presented to the board. I motion for this. Any second on motion? Second. Second, second by Mr. Kuchaski. Any question on motion? Question. Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion <laughs> passed. Before we go to number three, I just want to say I want to thank Mr. Nemec, who headed the negotiation table, and also Mr. Zissing, Mr. Kuchaski, for pitching, Mr. Nemec relishes negotiating. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he, he, steps, he steps forward no, every no. time. He's he has pushed. saved this district and his team thousands and thousands of dollars in negotiating fees. I just want to give you credit for that, Mr. Nemec. You always stick up. He does his research before. I mean, he, he's well planned. His brother Joe told me, my brother Rich does not leave one leaf unturned. And so far, what I've seen, as a very accurate statement. Again, Ms. Mimic, great job. And I thank also you. want to thank Linda Bachman because she actually was our SEIU. This was her first contract. She got to negotiate. Are you going to be able to negotiate another one <laughs> someday? She absolutely will. She will. <laughs> and she put, <laughs> Linda put a lot of time into it, and I really appreciate it. Okay. Number three, Ms. Nissing. All right, move to approve the renewal of administrative contracts for Dr. Matthew Harris, superintendent, Scott Inglace, Assistant Superintendent, and Brett Lego, Director of Business Affairs, effective July 1st, 2017 through June 30th, 2021. Second. I have a motion for Ms. Issing, second by Mr. Leonard. Any question on motion? Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? And I'd like to say something, and um, I will leave it up to the board. I want to, it's uh, our pleasure to work with these three gentlemen. Um, our superintendent, uh, Dr. Harris and Mr. English, our assistant superintendent, Mr. Lego. I want to say uh, great job, great effort. Uh, you, people work very hard to get back to the board. You communicate, every, uh, communicate everything with the board. Mr. Lego has helped us get through the, pet and the pension mess that the state stuck us with, and he's done an outstanding job. And Dr. Harris and Mr. English, even though they have minimum uh, central administration experience, they give us 110% every time they come to forward, and they're always very, very thorough with us. I'll leave us up to any of our board members wish to say anything. Yeah, I'd like to say congratulations as well for you. You earned the, uh, the, uh, the additional uh, years. Uh, I'm glad you guys are in place to, and you make our jobs a lot easier. So congratulations to you and thank you for your service. Thank you. What, I'm pleased with the team effort we've been experiencing also. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause? I think it's perfect. <laughs> I was going to just do a quick um, thank you to the school board for the reappointment. And the last time I did it, I read a three-page letter, and everyone. <laughs> and we also had a room full of people because there was a group of people coming to have a questions that night. So I won't do that this time. But I have to tell you, it's um, I I. This last couple of years, just like I said in my end of the year letter for Patrick's graduation, it just went by in a blink of an eye, and it's the same thing. It was a quick blink, but boy, did I enjoy it. It was a lot of fun, and each and every day, no matter what happens the night before, the phone calls you receive, or the late night meetings, I still get up excited and happy, and I was like, okay, what's today gonna bring? And I contribute that to working for a great school board. I have a great staff that works at the schools in all areas, my teachers, my custodians, my PCAs, my secretaries, the administrators, 
just everybody does an excellent job and they always do it for the kids. And that's the best part of the working in this position. It's something that you do, it actually affects children. So I really appreciate being here. I'm thankful for the commitment of this um, community I receive, the parents, the amount of volunteers that we have. It's a great place to live. It's a great place to raise a family. I always feel safe. So I'm just very proud and very blessed to be wearing green and gold. So thank you. And I'll say the same thing. I'm not going to do as long as you. <laughs> I tried to be short. I even cut off two, yeah. par two uh, sentences about me saving a cat from a tree. Well, hopefully you have <laughs> another four years after this one. But I, I want to thank you, Pastor, for the support. You guys have always been very supportive of everything that uh, we've asked you for. Uh, you've just been great to work with, you know. And I, I hear stories about the other boards and other districts that don't work the way you guys do. And you guys, uh, it's a team effort. You communicate. You sometimes disagree, but you always come away, uh, walk away with, uh, you know, a good attitude about something and, and come to consensus and work with us very well. Um, I was raised here. I was a teacher here. I was principal here and I love being here and I couldn't uh, couldn't be more grateful for this position and and I hope to retire here so if, uh, if you guys would uh, want to make a tenure contract I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I just want to know if you're, you're ready for your next renovation project then. well <laughs> people don't no think there's no money so we don't have to worry about that people don't know <laughs> what, what Scott goes through with <clears throat> coordinating with the contractors and uh Construction well, manager, he, he it's it's a lot on his plate. And a lot of headaches. A lot of headaches, but he handles it well. He's the best person for it that we got. Yeah, if you don't sit in another month or two, so. But uh, thank you, Dr. Harris, too. He's, he's always been very supportive and lets, lets me do my job and uh, great guy to work for, so thanks for everything. Thank you. Any other board members wish to speak? I have one more comment. I should be ashamed to admit this, but I burn the midnight oil a lot, and I don't think there's been a time yet, and I do this regularly, as they can say, I call these guys on the cell phone. They always answer the phone, weekends and evenings for me. Because I'm home a lot, going through things, and things are being done, and they always, they always pick up the phone and answer. And here's the nice part. Not only do they answer, they usually have the answer. And I really, that, that means a lot to me as a team effort warrior. Because right now with the renovation, I'm chairman of the Buildings and Grounds Committee, and that's a little bit of a challenge in time. They, they've taken all the challenge out of it for us. It's been great. Well, speaking of burning midnight oil, how many emails will we all receive from Matt at like 12.15 at night or 12.30 at night? <laughs> I'm probably the only one still up though. <laughs> you always respond though. So <laughs> I could, you go right away. This is great. It's like, oh. You're the only yeah, one who reads them, Tony. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm the only one who reads them. I don't know. I'm a very late night person. But <laughs> I, I always promise every Matt night works. to answer every email and question before I go to bed. So no matter what, I try to just respond to it at night. Well, here's the difference. You start work at seven, I think. Yeah. I start work at eight. Okay. <laughs> so you get up a little, you get up earlier than me. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's six, right? In the summer, it's six, and <laughs> it's like I, I know I'm supposed to support my my custodians, but I have to work really it because it's hard. Then he's not getting much sleep. Mm. But I wanted to appreciate too the fact of being part of a team. Uh, I think the board saw that there's a team effort there between these three gentlemen uh, to treat them as a team approach as opposed to individual. Wonderful individuals, but even better when they work together as a team. And we're fortunate to have a team approach. So, my compliments. Thank you. And and again, I, I thank the board also. Uh, I was blessed 14 years ago that uh, you selected me to be your business manager. Uh, it's been a long time because the only person at the table at that time was Nick. Everybody else has come. Bill came a month after I did. Uh, Jay was a was a colleague at the time. And uh, Sean was the only other one, I think, uh, who was with the district at the time. So uh, it's, been a, it's been a great time. Uh, it is a great board that we have. It's a great district that we have. Uh, Scott and Matt are great to work with. We really do work as a team. We can talk things out. Uh, may not always agree, but we you know, come to conclusions that are in the best interest of the district. Uh, the support that you provide us is invaluable. It, uh, we couldn't do what we do without your support and guidance, uh, and I'll always be thankful for that. Uh, unlike Scott, who needs a 10-year contract, however, this may be the last <laughs> go-around for me. We'll see what it's like after another four years, but uh, I look forward to uh, serving out uh, the next four years and retiring as a member of the Penn Traffic School District. So thanks again. And a special shout out to Greg, who doesn't need a contract renewed, <laughs> but he's a member of our team as well, and he's always 
out there looking for ways to help kids, and I appreciate that. So thank you. Thank you, no problem at all. Um, just just saying thank you. All right, food service, off the tray. Let's see what's exciting in the world of food service, Mr. President. Uh, let's move to approve the list of cafeteria personnel for the 2016-17 school year as presented by Aramark Education with a copy filed with the official minutes of uh, this meeting. I have a motion on Mr. by Dr. Cheney. Dr. Cheney, second on the motion? Second. second Mr. Pachansky. Any question on the motion? Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. Uh, move to adopt the following resolution. It's a standard resolution by the school Board of School Directors for the 2016-17 school year with regard to the free and reduced lunch program as listed. I have a motion Dr. Cherry. Any second on the motion? Second. Second, Mr. Pachansky. Any question on the motion? Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. Uh, move to approve Turner Dairy as the milk supplier for the 2016-17 <coughs> school year. Uh, Dr. Cherry, any second on the motion for Mr. Leonard? Any question on the motion? Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. That's all I have, Mr. President. Thank you, Dr. Cherry. First on curriculum, Mr. Stobart. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Move First that the no. following administrators be designated official raters uh, of profession professional personnel in the Penn Traffic School District for the 2016-17 school year. Dr. Matthew Harris, Mr. Mm -hmm. Scott Inglis, mm -hmm. Mr. Greg Caracia, Mr. Tony Aquilio, Mr. Greg Cappuccioni, Mrs. Karen Coiner, Mr. Daniel DiNapoli, Mr. Joseph A. Muraski, Mr. Jim Simpson, Mr. Roger Sullivan, and Mr. Justin Schwartz. I have a motion by Mr. Stover, any second on motion? Second. Second by Dr. Crosshair. Any question on motion? Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. Move to approve the list of substitute teachers and support personnel for the 2016-17 school year. A copy will be filed with the official minutes of this meeting. Motion by Mr. Stover, any second on motion? Second. Second by Dr. Crosshair. Question. question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. Move to approve the teacher assignments for the 2016-17 school year as recommended by the administration. A copy of the assign assignments will be filed with the official minutes. The administration is further authorized to notify teachers of their permanent assignments in accordance with the negotiated agreement. A motion, Mr. Stowe, any second on motion? Second. Second by Mr. Pachansky. Any question on motion? Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion <coughs> passed. Uh, move to approve a the following leave request, Claire Donnelly, grade two at McCullough, learning sabbatical for the 2016-17 school year. Beth Caswell will be the long-term sub. And motion to Mr. Ch Mr. Stover, any second on the motion? Second. Second, Mr. Pachansky, any question on the motion? Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. Move to accept the following resignations. Tammy Ross, special ed classroom instructional aide, effective immediately. Erica Smith, paraprofessional, effective August 1st, 2016. And Stephanie Troutman, grade three teacher at Sunrise Estates, effective October 23rd, 2016. Motion, Mr. Stover. Second on motion? Second. Second by Dr. Cross. Dr. Cross. Any question on motion? Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> motion passed. Move to employ the following personnel effective August 22nd, 2016. New employment is contingent upon the receipt of all necessary documentation and the acceptance of Act 34, 151, and 114 waivers from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania within 30 days. Uh, teacher Bethany Smita, starting at uh, level B, step two, salary $43,100. And uh, student learning assistance, a salary of $28,000. Mackenzie McGuire, Harrison Park, and Ashley. Matt, help me out. Olison, yeah. Olison at level B. A motion, Mr. Stover. Any second on motion? Second. Second by Mr. Manorowski. Any question on motion? Motion. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passed. Um, Bethany would have been here tonight. She's in Myrtle Beach for the week. Um, so, and it was kind of funny because she says, should I come, should I fly back? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and I said, no. <laughs> so she, wow. But it was a nice offer, but I, I'm, not, I'm not that mean of a person to work with. So. <laughs> Okay, move to approve the student handbook for the Penn Traffic High School for the 2016-17 school year as presented to the board. I um, have a motion, Mr. Stover. Any second on motion? Second. Second, Mr. Kuchask. Any question on motion? Question. All question. in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. Uh, then I have a motion to move to uh, approve the promotion of Amy Kelly to the position of high school assistant principal, effective August 9th, 2016, with a base salary of $92,000. 
said promotion being a 12 month position with terms and conditions as set forth in the Act 93 Compensation Act plan. Motion, Mr. Stover. Any second on the motion? Second. Second by Dr. Kirk Foster. Any question on the motion? Second. Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. That's Amy is here to tonight. Can you stand up and have a. <laughs> Just a thank you would be great. Amy, how how many years have you worked here as a substitute and a teacher altogether? for the Raider now, because I kind of thought about that's that after we, you you have to evaluate. we did that section true. once. I don't know if you want to do that tonight or... We should do it now. Um, who, who's, who's doing it? Who's that for? It goes back to Mr. Uh, you could do it. The, the, probably the best way is simply do a separate motion Yeah, now. that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Uh, yeah. Who's doing that? So that's read, Marty. Are we the same? same? Yes. yes. Same 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 name. Name. So uh, let me move to uh, move that the following administrator be designated official Raiders of professional personnel in the Penn Traffic School District for the 2016-17 school year. And that administrator is Ms. Amy Kelly. I have a motion from Mr. Stover. Any second on the motion? Second. Second by Dr. Foster. Any questions? Question. On motion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion passed. That's all I have tonight, Mr. President. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Stover. Yes. Policy, public relations, legislative, title two, Mr. Manarazzo. Mm. I lost my place. There we go. All right. I'd like to, uh, thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to move to accept and file the minutes of the Superintendent's Information Committee meeting held on Monday, June the 6th, 2016. A motion is from Madam Resident. <coughs> second on a motion? Second. Same with Mr. Kuchaski. Any question on a motion? Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. I'd also like to move to give final approval to board policy about the investment of district funds, food services, and administrative regulations public notification and civil rights complaint procedure, and professional standards for food service personnel. That was motion, Mr. Madam Resident. Second on motion? Second. Second, Mr. Nemec. Any question on motion? Question. question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. I'd also like to move to approve an exception to our policy on foreign exchange students, allowing the district to accept four foreign exchange students for the 2016 17 school year rather than the maximum of three students as per the policy. Motion, Mr. Mayor Razzo. Second on a motion? Second. Second, Mr. Nemec. Any question on a motion? Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. And finally, to move to approve the addendum to PTARC's Intergovernmental Agreement of Cooperation. This addendum amends the bylaws to provide the qualifications for appointment to the commission. I have a motion, Mr. Mayor Razzo. Second on a motion? Second. Second, Mr. Neiman. Any question on motion? Question. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passed. And Ms. Kelly, I will tell your godson tomorrow morning and his mother about your promotion. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, tax and insurance census, Mr. Neiman. Nothing tonight, Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. Neiman. Social report, Mr. Brundo. Uh, nothing this evening, sir. Uh, and the highlight of the evening, of course, I guess, is the PTA president, Mr. <laughs> Rudy. First, I'd like to applaud you guys on giving those three men a, an extension. I think it was very well uh, deserved, very much earned, and they're uh, they're fair and good people to work with. So I know I appreciate it. Very nice you say that, Sean. Thank you, Sean. Uh, Sean, thank and you. And I look forward to a good year. I'll be glad to get back to work. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Anything else on going order? <laughs> nice meeting. Motion for adjournment. Motion. Mr. Skrachastic, second. 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 Second.